Good morning and welcome to Storytime. Thank you so much for joining us today. And we are back with an exciting story and a hilarious one. This one is Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. And it's written by Doreen Cronin and pictures by Betsy Lewin. I hope you're ready. I hope you're excited. I am ready to share this one and indeed share a good laugh with you. Thank you so much for joining us. And remember that this week we are focusing on books that are, have a civics lesson to them. Lessons that are vital. And of course, as we go into this election that is happening right now, please do remember that your voice matters and think of all the different issues that are affected by your vote so please please make your vote count make your voice heard just like we are going to see today as some very smart cows get their voices heard good morning to you and welcome to story time thank you so much for joining in today as always i am happy to be here with you i've just had an amazing lesson with uh, my kids and uh, amazing people from the exploratorium so that was really really a great start to the morning and then being here with you as well is extra bonus. Thank you so much for joining in story time. Good morning to you. I hope you're having a beautiful start to your day wherever you are. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and much love from me as always. Good morning. Let's see who is with us for click clack moo. Cows that type. Oh, have you ever heard of that? Well, today you will. <laughs> Good morning to you, Ellen Edwards in Chicago. Thank you so much for joining in. How are you doing? Good to see you as always. Thank you for joining in story time. Ellen, I hope you are ready for this one and I wish you a beautiful rest of the day. And of course, to you, good morning, Harmony Beth. How are you doing? Good morning, good morning, and Harmony Beth, I am looking into those books for sure. So do look out for some of your favorites coming up very soon. Good morning to you. <laughs> Isabel, how are you doing? And good morning to you, Mateo and Leon. How are you doing? Emerson in the house representing. Good morning to you. I am so glad you're here. Always happy to see you. Thank you so much. And Leon and Mateo, I cannot wait for a day when we can be out there to kick a ball together again soon. Thank you, thank you. I hope you're still playing basketball and still playing soccer. Good morning to you. Sharon Lungo, how are you doing today with Soraya? Good morning to you. How are you, Soraya and Sharon? Thank you so much for joining in story time. As always, I am glad you are here and we're about to share a hilarious, beautiful story together. Good morning to you. Amanda West, how are you doing? Sarah and Nathan, good morning to you out in Illinois. And you say we are reading along with you today. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Awesome. <laughs> I absolutely love it. All right. So, uh, it's Sarah and Nathan. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. And I cannot wait to hear your thoughts on that. Amanda West, as always, thank you so much. Kat Saxton, good morning to you. How are you doing? I hope you enjoyed your run yesterday but of course baby Harry the champion of course <laughs> thank you Harry for your beautiful picture definitely made my day good morning to you Harry hags from Uncle Peter and good morning to you Kat Saxton and of course good morning to you Chris Wheeler as well thank you so much for joining in story time today Rex how are you doing good morning to you and you're joining in with Willow and you say Willow loves this book well Willow that makes the two of us right now I love this book as well and I am glad you love it and I hope you enjoy reading it together good morning to you Willow and good morning to you Rex and please let me know where you're joining us from good morning to you thank you for joining in story time today absolutely love it Darky Sherpa, I have not seen you in a while. Good morning to you, Pema and Maya. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining in. Good to see you. Thank you, thank you for joining in. And I hope everything is going well with you. Thank you so much. Good morning to you. <laughs> Cheryl, Smiley, Oliphant, good morning to you. Absolutely love it. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining in. Story time. I hope you're ready for click, clack, moo. Cows that type. I am excited to share this one. Good morning to you, Rocco, Clay, and Chriselle out in Long Beach, California. 
here. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us as always. Right. Good morning. Good morning. I did not see the game yesterday. Or is it on today? Um, Rocco and Clay, how did the Dodgers do? Good morning to you. Chriselle, good morning one more time. Cheryl, Smiley, Olive, and thank you so much for joining in. Absolutely. Whoop, whoop. Thank you for joining in story time today. Heather, good to see you the other day. And of course, the boys. Kitumire, Mbazira, and Sekamwa, how are you doing? Good morning to you. <laughs> Taki Sherpa, absolutely appreciate it. Good morning to you. Great to see you. Sekamwa, Mbazira, and Tusubira, how are you doing today? Good to see you, boys. Absolutely love it. Thank you so much for joining in Story Time today. And I hope your school is going well, too. Sunit Bhatt. How are you doing? Good morning to you. Welcome to Storytime. Please let us know who is joining in with you and where you are joining us from. Oh my goodness. Elizabeth Hoppedow, how are you doing? Good morning to you. Noah, oh my goodness. I've seen pictures of you, Noah. You're a big boy now. My goodness, I love it. And um, I, I'm pretty sure you're taller than I am, Noah. Amazing. Good to see you here. Thank you so much for joining in. Please do remind me your sister's names. I think it was Jordan, and I'm blanking out on one name. Please do remind me, but absolutely love it that you are here. Thank you so much for joining in. Story time. Oh my goodness. All right, we're going to be getting started with Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. And this one is written by Doreen Cronin and pictures by Betsy Lewin. All right, and of course, um, this book is being read with permission of Simon and Schuster. And of course, because of their permission guidelines, this book will be up on the Storytime platforms until December 31st. So do check it out. And of course, do find yourselves a copy down in the link below, or of course, Find it at your local library and get to read it and enjoy it at home. <laughs> good morning to you. Tendai Chineva, very quickly. Ethan and Ian, good morning. Right on time. I can see you observing your African time. Yes, we are here. Click, clack, moo. Cows that type. Let's go. <laughs> Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click clack moo, click clack moo, clickety clack moo. What is happening? Farmer Brown does not look happy. At first he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible! Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Oh, he had to find out what was going on. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. <gasps> Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. Oh, way to go, cows. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. What was to come next? The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They would like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Oh, ho, ho. strength in numbers. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. No eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Clickety-clack, moo. Clickety-clack, moo. Clickety-clack, moo. Oh. 
closed. No no milk, no eggs. Oh. Cows are type, hands on strike. Who ever, who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. <laughs> Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Oh, I'm a brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. Oh. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but no one, but none of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. What will the cows do? Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Mm. There's a counter offer for you, Farmer Brown. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. <laughs> the next morning, he got, a, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We would like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Uh-oh. <laughs> click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. Oh my goodness, Farmer Brown, you are in trouble. <laughs> and of course, the ducks got what they wanted. <laughs> the end. Well, thank you so much for joining in for Click, Clack, Moo. Cows that type. I hope you enjoyed that one indeed. Way to stand up for your rights, cows and hens. And of course, just a good reminder for all of us out there, when we see injustice happening, please let's stand up against it and make sure that this world is beautiful and safe for everybody. And of course, our workers are paid what they what is due to them, what they are worth. Thank you so much for joining in story time. And of course, I know you kids that are watching out there will help and are helping right now create that beautiful future that we can look forward to. Thank you so much for joining in story time today. Make your voice your voice count. Vote. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type by Doreen Cronin and pictures by Betsy Lewin. And of course, read with permission of Simon and Schuster. Thank you so much for joining in story time today. And of course, let's see who else joined us for story time today but before then also remember that tomorrow we're reading another one of mr limada's favorites and this one is the wedding portrait by Inosanto Nagara. Yes, do join in for that one. Beautiful story with lots to learn. And remember, very important messages for this week, especially as we go into election day. And of course, remember, you can still vote right now. Good morning to you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining in, everybody. Let us see who is with us and got to enjoy that beautiful story. Sekamwan, Bazira, and Tusu. Thank you so much for joining in right here in Auckland one more time. Thanks to you and Heather, of course. Good morning to you as well. Sunit Bart, good morning to you. Thank you for joining in story time. Noah and Elizabeth, good morning to you. Thank you for joining in. Tendai Chineva, Ethan and Ian, good morning to you. Yes, Makadi Nyu, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Maria, how are you doing? Damien Kahinya, good morning to you. How are you? doing today great to see you here buddy thank you so much for joining in i miss you too damien hopefully see you soon 
Ali May, good morning to you. I will see you in class very soon. And of course, thank you for joining in story time. I hope you enjoyed that one. <laughs> Melissa Russella, Russler, how are you doing? I hope I got your name correctly. Please do let me know where you're joining us from and who is joining in with you. Good to see you here, Melissa. Thank you so much for joining in. <laughs> thank you, Ali May. Have yourself a beautiful day as well. Jelin King, yes, Lincoln Elementary in the house. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining in and thank you, thank you for the beautiful um, idea of the app that you sent me. I will definitely be checking it out. Thank you, Jelin. Good morning to you. <laughs> Rex, thank you so much and thank you for joining in story time. I hope you enjoyed what we had for you today. But remember, we're back tomorrow. Do join us for the wedding portrait. Good morning to you. Tendai Chinebai say thank you for the story time we really enjoy it absolutely thank you so much it is not story time would not be what it is without you so thank you for joining in and of course the support and of course the recommendations that people do send Cheryl thank you so much Cheryl smiley Oliphant do check out her book my daddy does not need a cape do check that one out we read it on Friday please do find where you can support Cheryl thank you so much for joining in <laughs> Joseph Towser how are you doing my brother hopefully you're having a good day out there and of course Kate as well good morning to you thank you so much for joining in Sylvia Kim good morning to you how are you today thank you for joining in Darky Sherpa, you say thanks a lot. We enjoyed. We might we might be able to join two days a week now. Oh, absolutely awesome. Well, fingers crossed on my end. Good to see you. Good to see you back. And I know that with school scheduling and everything, people are not quite always able to get in. But thank you so much. All right, Harmony Beth has a good reminder for all of us. Says, please remind folks to drop ballots into the official ballot boxes if they're not comfortable mailing them in. Thank you so much, Harmony Beth. Important message right there. Absolutely, your message is heard loud and clear. Thank you so much for joining in Story Time. From me, it is much love as always. Great to see everybody, and I will see you in the morning when we are back for the wedding portrait. Do join us for that one. Brought to you, of course, by Innocent. Santo Nagara. Thank you so much. Much love and I will see you in the morning. Bye-bye. <laughs>